Hi, I'm ashmail12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to modify CSS code using JavaScript. Okay, so first of all, I, I've got a, um, so let me just refresh that. Um, I have got a page here, um, I've linked in a style sheet, um, a jQuery file, I've created a div called text and in that div contains text called modify this text flow slash div. Um, I've created a button which um, goes to a function in JavaScript called button and the value of that button is modify and I've also linked in the um, a JavaScript file which we're going to work with. So if I, um, as you can see, if you see when I refreshed it, this is what we get out on the page. Um, as you can see in styles dot CSS we have a block open here but I have no code and in JavaScript I have the function with no code so what we're going to do is so as you can see there's no CSS code in there so what we're going to do in JavaScript is make this font bigger by adding a um, CSS value to it so as you can see in, CS, in JavaScript to add a CSS value basically just put the ID or a class if you're using classes then put dot CSS and in, uh, we use two parameters for this the first one is the property and the second one is the value of what we want the property to be so if you've seen before I quickly refreshed before that the text was bigger because what we're going to do is make this text bigger now so font dash size I'm going to put that as 25 pixels so now if I refresh and click modify as you can see the text has got bigger and we have successfully added a CSS value um, to the we've not actually added it to the style sheet we've basically just um, modified it using JavaScript for a one-off um, so now basically to edit um, a CSS value and it's exactly the same we use what we've got here so CSS with two parameters. Now if I just go into here and let's say if I add a, um, a let's see color. So we have a color of let's say red. Um, just one second actually. Yeah, so we'll have a color of red. Okay, so now if I refresh, we get. Uh, modify this text and it's in red. Now, if we want to modify this to, let's say, a blue color, basically just put in color here and then put in. We can either type in blue here or we can put the um, hex value or RGB value if you want to use that there. So now, if we click modify, it will change the text to blue. So, adding and modifying CSS values are pretty much the same. Um, now to remove a CSS value, you can't actually do it um, in in a way that you actually remove it. Um, you must modify it. Like um, in an external file, you can't actually remove it. But if it's inline, which I'll show you in a minute, then you can actually remove it if it's inline text, inline um, coding. But to remove a little trick around removing is to sort of make it the default so for example if we have um, let's just take this here let's put in a background dash color and put that as let's say green and then let's just uh, get rid of this here just for now so if we have a background color of green there and um, what we can do is if we put in background dash color there is there is no actual way of removing CSS values apart from to leave it blank which works with inline now um, if I just show you what this looks like first with blank and uh, modify it it basically does nothing nothing happens and um, but if we come in and put this code here so if I just cut this so there's nothing there, so if I refresh it's back to nothing and put this in line so style 
Okay, so now refresh, we have it back. Now using inline and clicking modify will actually remove it. So that's sort of a cheat way around removing. If you want something that to be removed, then you could put it in line. If you don't want to be putting it in line, um, just get it back. Okay. Um, a little cheat away is to make it look like the original. So basically, you can put in white if you've got a white background obviously so then when you click modify it looks like you are taking the background color away but in theory you're just actually changing it so you can't actually remove a an external CSS value for uh, or property rather but you can modify it in a way that it looks like it's being removed so I hope this video made sense and I will see you next time.